Hello all, welcome back to a new lesson. I am Neharika and today I'm going to try my hand at cooking. So, how would that really help you? Well, do you like to cook? Well, I do. If you see it on my apron, I love cooking. But there are times when we get confused to understand certain cooking instructions. Now, there are words that you don't know how exactly to use it or at times when we are reading or taking cooking instructions, we don't know what it means. So, this lesson will help you to understand some cooking instructions in English. So, let's get started. The first one that we have here is bake. Now, bake means when we put our food in oven, and we cook it on heat, such as cakes, casserole, or even bread. So that is when we say, I'm going to bake a cake. So it means that I'm going to put the food in the oven and cook it on heat. So you bake cakes or even bread. All right. Another word here for you is barbecue. Now, barbecue means when you grill your food, okay? You probably grill your meat or even veggies at times, like, um, you know, you put potatoes, like grilled potatoes or grilled chicken or beef steaks. So, you put it on grill and you cook it on fire or hot coals. So you grill your food and that's what we call it as barbecue. The third one here is beat. Beat, what does that mean? To hit someone? No. Well beat, when it comes to cooking instructions, beat means to mix your food quickly, okay? You have to be really fast and continue it. You continue doing it. It has to be a continuous action. Like your eggs. So you beat your eggs. Okay. So if you are trying to make something which needs a good mixture of eggs or probably flour, what you do is you mix it constantly. So that is beating. Okay. Then we have carve. Now what does that mean? Well carve means to cut meat into slices. <coughs> okay, so carve means to cut your meat into slices. That's a better word rather than just saying, why don't you cut your meat? So the better word to use is carve your meat. Another one is chop. Now chop. Well, you might have read when you're trying to go online and get a recipe, you will always see use chopped vegetables or chopped onions. So what exactly it means? Well, chop means to cut your veggies into small pieces. Okay, so you, it just means to cut your vegetables into small pieces. Then another one here is broil. Now broil, broil means you cook your food, probably meat or even veggies on extremely high temperatures. And in fact, you broil it for a very, very long time. So you heat it on extreme high temperatures for a very long time. That's what broil means, okay? So the next time you're having a broiled chicken or broiled chicken soup, then you have to cook it on extreme high temperature. Then another one here is shallow fry. I, when I, you know, started learning to cook, I used to really get confused between these two words. One is shallow fry and another one is deep fry. I just didn't know what exactly it meant. Well, of course, both cooking techniques are oil-based, but I will tell you what's the difference. 
So shallow fry is when you put your food, again it's an oil based technique, but when you put your food, a battered food like battered meat or battered fish or even battered potatoes and you submerge the food partly. Now you do not just fill up the pan with lots of oil. It's very less oil and you submerge your patty or probably your meat or the fish partly and you cook it only till it gets a little brown. So that is to shallow fry. So very little oil is used and you submerge your food partly. Okay, and then what exactly deep fry means? So deep fry means when you dip your food completely into the oil. So your pan, your cooking pan is full of oil and you submerge the whole thing into that hot oil. So that is deep fry. So hope this is clear. Shallow fry means very little oil and you submerge food partly. Whereas deep fry is when you completely submerge your food. Okay, now the next one is great. Grated cheese. Wow, I totally love it. Now, great means to shred food items okay to shred probably cheese or even probably chicken so you shred it with the help of a grater you know you have these graters i wish i had it with me i could have showed it to you but maybe you can just have a look at this picture here so great means to shred food uh, with a shredder okay or with a grater it's either called a shredder or a grater so That's the meaning. Now the next one here is saute or stir fry. <coughs> now saute or stir fry means you put your veggies or probably meat, okay, in a hot pan, okay, which is where you add a little oil also to it and you saute the veggies or the meat quickly, okay, and that's on heat of course. But you do that quickly. So that's called saute or to stir fry veggies. Extremely healthy. Probably you can saute or stir fry your veggies every night and that should be your dinner. Trust me, it's extremely healthy. So that's what saute or stir fry means when you mix it in your frying pan, okay, with little bitty of oil. Then we have knead. Now knead. So here you're pressing and stretching the dough, okay? So that is to knead. Now when you press and stretch your dough, the dough is used either for making pasta or it's also used for breads. So if you are making bread, you need to knead the dough where you have to press the dough hard, okay? And stretch it. So that's kneading. <coughs> All right, and then the other one that we have here is scramble. Have you tried uh, scrambled eggs? Oh, well, one of my favorite breakfasts. Now, scramble means when you mix the whites and the yellows of a ye egg, okay, and you mix it nicely, so that's called scrambling, okay? So you're scrambling your eggs, and then you put it in the plate and eat with the bread. So that's scramble, okay? And then the last one is mince. Now mince is when you particularly cut your uh, veggies or meat into extremely small pieces. In fact, we make use of a machine to mince your meat because it's not easy for you. Yes, probably a grater or a shredder would help you. However, 
to mince it in very very small particles you definitely need a machine so to cut your veggies or the meat into extremely small pieces is what mince means okay so these are some verbs that would help you to give or to take instructions cooking instructions so the next time your sister calls in and says hey you cook extremely good chicken could you please help me with the recipe well of course now you know what are the right words to use so i'll be back with a new lesson right now i'm starving and i'm gonna go cook some good meal for myself bye